Hey guys, Ada Orange here. So, um, it has been a long time since I have done or shown my face, and I actually already, ha, huh, it's really sad, but I actually had some stuff recorded, but I never hit the record button, so I never actually recorded it. I just thought I did. So, and it was like this morning, and anyway, whatever. We're here with Life is Strange, and we're gonna start episode two, and as always, we're gonna be looking for all the graffitis. So let's do this. <laughs> For the plat, yo. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do Sorry, you know I'm just fixing my room. A gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Here we go. Hmm, <laughs> excited. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, Sorry. an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot this is a choice game. Um... No? Let me refresh your memory. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. 
convenient. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Oh god, I guess I'll just agree. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend. 
but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Hmm. Oh God, should I just, oh man, I don't know. Uh. Ugh! God, I hate these decisions! Oh my god, and, and you know, I can't even put eeny meeny miny mo. Well, I could, but I just, I know the buttons. Eeny meeny miny mo. Always take the blame. Ugh, um. Catch a tiger by the toe. Ugh. Guys, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Uh, <sighs> No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me, both of you? Yeah, I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Hmm. I want to take the kitty. I love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well.
Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? I wish I could do something like this and not get caught, but you know. Damn. She drew quite a bit. Hmm. I remember her. From the, um,. On the original game. <laughs> is that Victoria? I think that's exactly who it is. I don't know. I don't remember her the names. I haven't touched the game since I started this YouTube channel, actually, so. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. So we're gonna hit our first graffiti mark. We can run faster, that's nice. It's right here. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? Hot. <laughs> Everybody wants to have a good time, right? So there's our first graffiti for episode two. All right, that's the only graffiti that's in this area, so we're actually just gonna run along here. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Let's go. It's about damn time. David, please. I'll handle it. Chloe, after today. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. This isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? 
You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. David, that's out of line. You weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Uh, decisions. Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Hmm, I wonder if you can avoid the... the joint. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were suspended. I know you haven't always been treated fairly, and I'm not trying to add to that, but Chloe... Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt, and you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. 
But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Hmm. Chloe well, is quite something. I wish I was that, um... That badass, I guess is the best way to put it. I've never really been much of a rebel child in my days. <sighs> Sorry, if you guys will watch me looking down, I'm studying. I, I like to listen, and, I like to watch and listen and study at the same time. Uh, once when the game starts, oh, we'll keep going. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Kitty came back. <laughs> Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Okay, so the first I thing we're gonna do is we're gonna collect the here. first graffiti. Okay, um, there's actually two in this area, and um, the first one is now, and the second one's after we find the items, so... Damn, you cigarettes.
So this is how you're gonna get the second graffiti. You just climb up here, and it's at the very top. I think I did this wrong. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. I meant to do something else. Um. Uh. There's got to be a battery under one of these car hoods, right? Hmm. Ah, it's right in front of me. Jeez. Want to tell my <laughs> I was like, I remember it's somewhere near here. Very treasure burial grounds. Let's go to Berry treasure. Got it. Okay, so that's the second graffiti one. Ooh, sorry, excuse me. All right, let's go hunt down these um, this battery stuff that she wants us to to find. So our first item, get battery, put in truck. So let's look for a battery. I remember the last time I had to do something like this. It uh, it took me no, some time. Not going over there. It was like the bottles or whatever. Oh my gosh, it took me so long. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Most of these cars are junk. I'll probably need to find the one that seems less junky if I have any hope of finding a working battery. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? You're a long way from the beach. Hmm. Maybe this one. This one looks less junky. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? What 
What are you trying to hide under there? Hey, hey, I already did that. I thought I had the la the latch button, but I won't. Okay, let's try the latch button. I should have known that. I oh, just recently popped a hood, actually. But no, I was trying to hit the the latch, and it wouldn't let me. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Okay, we got that. I'm just gonna bring it back to the car. Why won't she just get that car running? <laughs> this is what I don't really understand. Why does she specifically want this one? I guess because it's more whole. Oh, she drives this car. This is the car she ends up driving in the, in the original game. Duh. That's cool that we get to build it. <laughs> Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, so we got what we need to look for. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Anyway, so I think that beach towel might be one of them. I don't know yet. Yeah. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. That's the beach towel. And then, um. Don't tell me. Oh, I found a light bulb. Do. There's the light bulb. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Okay, now we just need something to cover up that hole. Which I have no idea, to be honest, what that would be. There we go. Perfect. You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. Okay, so I think we have all the items we need.
Is that everything? This thing yes, looks like is. a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Hmm. Time for a so while you're chilling in here, smoke break. you can uh, you can get your third graffiti right here. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Okay, so, um, so that's that. I guess we can turn on this or something. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> didn't think so. We might have found a good stop, a place to stop. Actually, we are getting 45 minutes into this now. Okay, yeah, so I am going to stop it here. Because it just hit the saving point, too. Boop. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Outer Orange with um, Life is Strange Before the Storm. So I hope you liked what you've seen so far. I personally did, and I'm pretty excited to continue on forward. But for the time being, it's been a pleasure gaming with you guys. And please like, subscribe, comment, what we got to do to make a girl happy. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and yeah, catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.